Today's video, we're just talking about Battlefront 2015 and Battlefront 2017. Talk about like the states of them right now and talk about what we liked about them. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Just relax and chill and let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. I love to just hop back on this game when it's triple XP just to level all my um, characters up, especially heavy because I barely use heavy assist. This game came out in 2017. And I'm still here in 2024, hopping in co-op mode with my friend who's basically new to the game. And he's grinding his stuff, I'm grinding my stuff. EA, uh, any other companies or gaming studios, sorry, come and make a Battlefront 3, I'm telling you. It, it will sell. Will it be risky? <laughs> yeah, of course. It will sell though. So, we're just going to play some co-op we'll talk about the state of the game and uh, yeah we'll just talk about Battlefront in general so uh, we do know that the remastered version of the OG Battlefront 1 and 2 are going to be coming back and I'm super hyped for that because that's going to be like a new type of game for me because I've never played the OG ones uh, in fact these ones are the game the Battlefront 1 EA and Battlefront 2 EA are the ones I grew up playing, so. Um, Jaden, I'm not sure. Did you play the OG Battlefronts, like the 2004 ones? No, you didn't. Yeah. Yeah, we we did not grow up playing that. We were, we were born in 2004, guys. We weren't playing this like, like you guys were. It was, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Like, I don't know. I just feel like. A Battlefront 3, especially after you announce the OG ones, the, the goaded ones, as they say, are coming back, like, and there's this much hype around it. The trailer got so many views the the first, like, day, first 24 hours. Like, this should show Disney, LucasArts, we care, we want it. Let's talk about the state of this game. So, we're obviously in co-op. It's very easy to find. All you need is two people. I got myself and Jaden here. And then two other people usually join, so it's pretty easy to find a co-op game. Um, as long as the, as far as the other modes go, Damn, uh, supremacy is actually very easy to find. Um, Heroes vs. Villains is very easy to find. Galactic Assault easy to find. The other modes like Extraction and and stuff like that, I haven't really tested. Like Starfighter Assault, which I would be interested to see if that yeah, one's still popular. Know. What happened? Oh, okay. You got it. I'm trying to work out. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um. Oh shit! There's so many people. I'm gonna die. Oh no! I'm clutch like that. We're trying to level up our Anakin here. Oh, we're cooking. Never mind. We're not cooking. I died. I still have enough to go Anakin again though. Uh. Anyways. Yeah, I would like to see how the other modes um, are doing in terms of how many people are playing it. Battlefront 2 EA is uh, very, very popular still here on PlayStation. Xbox, I, I think it's pretty popular. PC is the one that's it's lacking kind of, which doesn't really make sense to me because they got mods and stuff on there, right? They can add so many like different mods, but here on consoles, we're still doing good. Um, Battlefront 2015 is a different story. That is a little bit harder to find games, but once you do find that one Walker Assault game, because that's like one of the only modes that you can play that has activity on it, you can stay in that lobby for a very long time. And this is like crazy, guys. We're in 2024. This came out. This game came out 2017. My friend Jaden here just started playing right now, and I'm pretty sure he's having fun playing it. Like, it's yeah. It's crazy. I haven't played this game in years. I didn't yeah. Play, uh, co -op. Yeah, he hasn't yeah. even played co-op. Yeah, and co-op was one of the newer modes for this game. I'm pretty sure I did play co-op with one. I think you might, you may, maybe you played it with me. No, no, no. Like I'm with oh, the um with my other account when I had it. So like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a little bit of a different type type of video. I'm not really editing much. Just kind of talking, chilling with you guys. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Battlefront 2 and Battlefront 2015. Are you guys still hopping on the game? Like, are you guys still. Like, today I'm hopping on for a very long time. I was streaming it for a long time because it's triple XP. I want to hop on and upgrade my heroes. 
Like, I want to, like, my heroes are pretty low leveled still, I would say. And the thing is, I have, like, almost 400 hours in this game. And there's still, really? yeah. And there's still so much to, like, level up. Like, I barely leveled up anything. Like, the amount of content in this game is actually crazy. Like, it, it really is. And I can't believe they gave up on this to go and work on Battlefield 2042. It, it blows my mind. Like, I get that they want to do a Battlefield game. Was Battlefield 2042 good? Is it good? Yes. Did it have a great release? No, it had one of the worst releases ever. Like... I even heard that Battlefront 2 had plans to add, I'm pretty sure, Ahsoka and Asajj Ventress into the game on their next ep update. There's literally unfilled player slots where the heroes are because they were supposed to add more heroes to this game. Battlefront 2 had a very tough release, like a more tough release than Battlefront 2015. But the thing is about both those games, they fixed both of those games. And you know what the crazy part about it is? The community stuck with them. And I'm going to say it again. Look who's playing Battlefront 2 right now. Us. And we're playing co-op mode against the AI. Well, we could be playing... Well, we were playing Heroes vs. Villains a lot earlier, but... Like, Jaden hasn't even tried Ewok Hunt, guys. That game mode's fun as f***. And it's, and it's scary, to be honest. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do a separate video for that, for Ewok Hunt. That game mode is funny. I, I don't even know if it would be possible to find a game on that, though. Droidica, I see you, bro. Come out here, dude. Come out here. Oh, it's one of my brothers. I just, you know, I'm very happy that even though I don't play this game 24-7, whenever I do want to play, I can hop on and find a lobby. That's what I always want to happen, like, especially with 20, 2015 Battlefront. But that was basically my childhood, right? And you can't even find a DLC game on that game. You can easily find multiplayer. Not easily, but more more easily than DLC. DLCs you can, like, not find at all. Hello, droids. Get these clankers out of here, Jaden. Let it rip, bro. Fire, bro. Fire, bro. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I got points. Oh, yeah. I got eight now. I got 11 now. But, like, I kind of want to hear... I want a different opinion, like Jane. Like you barely played this game, but like, what do you think about it? Like honest thoughts about it. Honestly, bro, this game was a dummy back then. I mean, I was, I was a story, I was a campaign player, so I grew up playing the campaign. Yeah. I love campaign stories. So yeah. And this like this good. campaign wasn't like the greatest, but it was still it was good. Like it wasn't. You didn't like the campaign. I loved I, it. I I liked it. I just think that Iden should have stayed on the empire side but anyways besides that what else do you think about the game i thought that was actually a great point like you showed some character development and gave her like um sure that she was human yeah fair enough but like i don't know maybe maybe i'd have to replay through it and give my opinion on it again but i can't i just ran past what, dark mall um, level did you play it on I played on normal. I play all story mode games at the start on normal because I want to enjoy experience, not really? stress out and I get on shit on. Special. I played it on special forces. Is I'm that the hardest one? Yeah. And did you beat it on special forces or did you have to dim it down a little yeah. bit? You beat it on special forces? Yeah. Yeah. Because well, I, I didn't know. I thought um, mm -hmm. choosing it made, um, meant, uh, what was it? I thought choosing the levels meant the type of story you're gonna play. So like whatever one you're gonna play as, I was like, okay, yeah. When yeah. Workout school is normal or it was different levels. And I'm like, okay, yo, this does this one sounds boring as hell. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah, the, the easiest ones definitely do so boring because you're just no, like walking through. Like, you're just watching the movie like, at that point. The character. Yeah, yeah. You had to do with the characters. Like how the how the gameplay was gonna be. Yeah. Or not the gameplay, the story. Mm. Like there's gonna be a a different item versus you or something. I don't know. Yeah. If you guys are a car car person, go check out his TikTok, Kai of Sin. He he yeah, posts TikToks about anime, anime cars, all movies, all that stuff, yeah. And um what else was I gonna say? Um You haven't even played like the, the free DLC, like the second part of the story, have you? I never actually finished it, no. Dude, I want to tell you what happens, like, know. so badly. Like, it's, you're going to be so surprised. See, you know what? I'll do it um, another day. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Because you're gonna be like shocked what happens. Like, you know, you won't believe it. Oh, I just died. You lost. Yeah. I mean, I think the story was pretty good. Um, pretty bland at some parts. It was kind of like the gameplay was pretty bland at some parts. Uh, the the AI there was no there's no boss battles right, I mean but but I will admit like the the Luke Skywalker level is definitely my favorite level, or you get to be Luke that one was cool, the one where we got to be Lando I don't remember that much yeah, that's the thing I can't really judge it right now because I don't, I don't remember. I, I like playing as Iden and I like playing as the um as Luke or Jedi. yeah um, yeah with the lightsaber because those are cool yeah like the Kylo Ren one at the end where he's trying to find out. I forget what he's trying yeah, to find yeah. out, but... Oh no, he's trying to find the map to Skywalker, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, Del, right Del ended up meeting up with uh, Luke at one point. Where, and then, yeah, so that, that's, that's where, where Kylo Ren... Yeah. His... his Yeah, that was a turning point for him, but like at least that's a little bit more convincing than when Aiden turned. When Aiden turned to the good side... Sorry, to the oh, Rebellion... She realized it, but like, how did she not realize after years of like going to planets and and seeing what the Empire does to civilians? Like, how did she not notice that, bro? I'm pretty sure it has something to do with um um them loyalty and their friends. Like, she's special forces, you know. Like, how did she not see that stuff? At least Dell had a better point of view. Like, he had he went with he uh what was it? What was I gonna say? He actually like met up with Luke, and Luke convinced him. He, like Luke, Luke in this game is like the perfect, not per most perfect version. Base, he's just Luke Skywalker is what I'm trying to say. He's actually Luke Skywalker, not the last Jedi Luke Skywalker. He is Luke Skywalker. Like the way he talks, the what he does, what he like symbolizes. That's Luke Skywalker. That's I think they did that absolutely perfect in this story. Anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Let us know what you think of Battlefront 2 down in the comments. Did you like the campaign? Do you like the game still? Do you play the game still? Thank you for watching.